right. So got a pretty late video for you guys. Um, we're on 8.15, my time. I think this is like my eighth video in the last like nine or 10 days. Um, just cranking these out. A good friend and a client sent me this tweet. Um, I basically reached out to this guy and showed him exactly how to do this um, inside of clay.com using Appify, Clay, and then Smart Lead for this. And then depending on what CRM he uses, Salesforce, HubSpot, Close, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I was able to build this out in about nine minutes. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did it, um, what to do on your end if you you know if there's any problems. And then also you guys can just copy this clay table because um, I'm going to make it so you guys can duplicate it inside of the description below. Okay. So first step, um, just understanding context, this guy offers some sort of IT service, right? He wants to reach out to companies who are hiring for um, an IT professional that are not an IT service company themselves. Obviously, um, why would he reach out to them? He probably doesn't even need to. He also wanted to make sure that they have less than 200 employees as well. So the first step is this right here, essentially monitoring new public job listings in the area for companies hiring for an IT professional. The best way to do this, you can do it inside of Clay with LinkedIn jobs. For my example, I'm using Appify and there's a couple ways you could do this. So as you can see right here, this is an Indeed scraper, indeed.com. You can just put in simply IT professional. And then if you guys wanted to US and then the max items um, could be 100, could be a thousand, whatever. Um, what you guys could do as well is if you guys wanted to get literally everybody inside, everybody in your TAM who is posting these jobs, um, you guys can go to the store with appify.com, type in, you know, LinkedIn jobs, grab this LinkedIn job scraper, and then also Google jobs as well. And then indeed. So that's three right there, three really big sources for job postings. You guys can essentially connect each scraper to one separate clay table and then set up, you know, all the way to your email sequencer and then all the way to your CRM as well. And then just make sure that you delete all the duplicates as well. For this example, I'm going to be using Indeed. Okay. So put in your job title and then United States, obviously max items for this example, I'm only putting 10 um, and then click start. In terms of actually adding your API key to clay, um, very, very easy to do. So if you guys just go to home, I'm going to have all this blurred out, um, go to create new and then table. Scroll all the way down to where it says pull data from Appify actors. Okay. Right here. Once you click choose an account, um, mine's already here, but if you guys wanted to click add an account and then put in your API key, the way to do that is go to settings integration. And then right here, just click this, these little two squares. If you don't have this already, just click add token and then you can create a new one, copy this API key and then put it right here for add new account. For me, I've already done it. So you just click continue. And then from here, the Appify actor that you just set up. So for my example, Obviously, I set up an Indeed scraper. So I would click Indeed scraper. From here, I want to make sure that it's the specific run that I just put out. I don't want it from you know three weeks ago, three months ago, et cetera. So I'm clicking the most recent run and then click continue, and then click new blank table. Now for myself, I've already done this and I've already built out the table for you guys. But if you're like this, you're going to be starting this from scratch. All you need to do is just wait probably five seconds. Um, since there's only 10 results, it's not going to take too long. Um, obviously, for you guys, it probably will be a little bit more than 10. It might be 400, 500 maybe a day. And what you guys can do as well is you guys can set up this automation. So it runs every day at like 9 a.m. or it runs at night every day, at like 6 p.m., whatever. For the entire day, um, it can scrape all these active job postings, push it to a clay table. You can auto reach that and then add it to smart lead um, and then add that to your CRM as well. So for this, you guys can get whatever you know data you'd like. For this example, I've already built it out. Like I said, I just wanted the you know posting date and then also the company description, the company domain, the job URL, the location, company name, et cetera. So that's the first step. In terms of the second step is actually going to be um, making sure that they're the right fit, right? These two things right here. And the way I did that, the first thing is basically seeing if they're an IT service provider or not. This is the prompt that I used is basically, I want you to look at the company domain, company name, and then company description. And what this AI agent does is it basically puts all of this information inside of, puts this information right here, this information right here, um, and then also the company name, wherever that is, I think it's right here. Um, it puts that into Google and it basically double checks if this company is an IT company, IT service provider, or if it's not. Um, and they can also, a really good indicator is actually using this company description right here. So I would definitely add that. And for example, let's say like one of these were blank. This company description right here was completely blank. Out of, out of let's say you add a thousand companies here, you might get one or two blanks with the company description, probably a lot more than that. If you use this exact prompt, it's not going to work because one of the rows in the column is blank. So you just need to toggle this to the left. So it's not required to run. If it does have, if the output is there, then it's going to run. But if it's not there, then it's just going to go to the company name or company domain. So always do that. If you're wondering like, Hey, you know, I have one blank right here when it comes to the company description, but this is not running correctly. Um, just toggle that to the left and then it should work immediately. Um, and basically we want to find that like, look, is this company actually an IT service provider? Are they an IT company like ourselves? 
or are they a normal company where we can reach out to them? So once it's done that, I basically found out like, hey, good means they're good to go. They're good to, you know, they're qualified. Not means they're bad, um, bad fits. And then it also gives you the reasoning. Remember, this is an AI agent. Um, this is basically your, your, your own human SDR who can work 24-7, can do things in less than five seconds. Um, it also gives you a reasoning on why it made that decision and then its confidence level as well. Um, so it gave me a pretty good reason on all three of these and why this company is an IT service provider. From there, in terms of en enriching the company and finding out the employee size, which is the next step, um, I only want to do this, obviously, for companies that are a good fit. So I just wrote this quick formula inside of this column right here. So you guys can see this. You scroll all the way to the bottom, use AI. So I said, only run if, and this is the output column right here, is good. Okay, so only run if it, it basically means only run if the company is qualified and they're not an IT service provider. From there, you know, enrich these companies. If, like I said, once you guys have 500 companies, 1,000 companies, it's going to be a lot more than this. Um, from there, we have the employee size. And for this, like I said, this guy only wanted to reach out to companies that are less than 200. So in terms of the next steps is actually enriching the key decision maker. Um, and you guys can use this prompt. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, in terms of finding the key decision maker, you guys can also do find contacts with LinkedIn. Um, but again, I only wanted this to run if the employee size is less than 200. Um, because again, I don't want to waste credits if the company is an IT service provider. I don't want to waste credits if the company is above 200 employees. So I use that formula inside of this enrichment and then basically found the key decision maker. So this is the full name of the key decision maker. Um, if you didn't want to use Claygent, you guys can essentially just use the find contacts um, at company, basically just using LinkedIn to do that. And then in terms of the next step is essentially finding the right email address. So in terms of the input for find email, just putting in the key decision maker right here, which is the full name of the person and then the company domain as well. Find email is the best on the market. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Obviously it only ran two because two were the, were the best fit. As you can see right here, this one is actually a good lead. It's not an IT service provider, but it is above that 200 employee size mark. So it's not gonna run. In terms of the next steps, they're essentially automating email, automating it to your email sequence and then adding it to your CRM um, for their salespeople to reach out to. This is extremely easy inside of clay.com where there is a direct smart lead integration. Um, I think for this account, I'm on a client account right now. Um, it actually does not have the plan, but you guys can pretty easily just add this lead to the campaign. I'm gonna show you guys another, I need to get that recorded where it is essentially, you know, showing you guys how to connect your API keys to Clay. Um, but you just click add lead to campaign right here. And then you guys can also add in, you guys are using HubSpot, if you guys are using Salesforce, it's pretty easy to create records. Um, just just a click of a button. You also have to add your, your API key, like I said. So that is essentially everything. Um, what was it? 10 minutes, 10 minutes to record this and 10 minutes to actually build this out. I basically showed you guys how to um, scrape all these job titles and reach the company, make sure that they're a good fit, make sure that they're qualified, add it to your, you know, your smart lead, add it to your CRM, um, and then automate this pretty easily inside of clay.com using Appify, um, enriching it into clay. And like I said, you guys can do this for three to four different scrapers. And you guys can also duplicate this table. Um, I'm going to give this to you guys and share it with you. So you guys can duplicate this and use it in your own manner. So hopefully this was helpful.